Hello there, sweethearts, and welcome to our channel, Sweetheartina. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click the notification bell for more updates on our newest videos. Hi, nako. Na may mental block ako dahil excited na ako na ipakilala sa inyo ang ating very special guest for today. And he is a very good actor. And eto kahit saan mo dalhin. Okay, mapa commercial man, <laughs> mapa TV man, Mapa pelikula man, mapa kantahan because I know he sings, mapa singing kasi he's an artist. So talagang mapakagaling talaga. Sino mag-aakala na we will be having one of the four original guapings ng dekada 90. Mga sweethearts, Jao Mapa. Sa lahat ng mga sweethearts ng mga nanonood, that's mga subaybay. Hello Ina, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for uh, having me guest in your show. Welcome, welcome sa ating channel. But we are so thankful na tinaunlakan mo kami, ah, di ba? Siyempre maraming nag-aabang sa'yo, maraming nakamis. At uh, in fairness, ha, ang daming nakaka-alala pa sa'yo. Di ba? Kamusta ka, thank you. kamusta ka? Pabuti naman. I'm, uh, oh man, I, I have been never been so blessed in my life right now that uh, I am not only um, uh, uh, back in the entertainment business, mm -hmm. but also um, an accomplished painter. Mm -hmm. And I uh, uh, happily married my mm -hmm. wife, uh, Cecil, and uh, we have three kids. Anyway, Jao, sobrang uh, kasi nga inabot kita. Siyempre, dalawa ka ba siya. So, yun yung panahon na I was in high school. Tapos, nabuo yung uh, guapings, di ba? Pero I believe, even before entering showbiz, eh, nagko-commercial ka na. Tama ba ako mali? Yes, I did a couple of commercials also as well. Uh, the, the most uh, famous one I did was the Pepsi commercial. Uh, was uh, adopted from Michael J. Fox, a Pepsi commercial. Um, I did a couple also in, in my time. I think I did uh, Jolly as well. So, and then um, recently, uh, when I already had a family, uh, I did KFC as well. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, working. Uh, after I took a break in showbiz during 2000, there was a uh, an audition for a KFC commercial, mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, out of 500 auditionees, I bagged it. So I said, "Yeah, why uh, pala mag showbiz?" So uh, that was a sign. So, what, what year was that? I'm sorry. What year was that? 2004. Okay. 2006. Mm -mm. And I was working at the Peninsula Villa then, uh, doing odd jobs uh, in the art room. Mm -hmm. uh, I was only there for about six months. This was after you know, showbiz. So uh, after showbiz. I took a break oh during, during, during the 2000. Uh, I took a break 1999 after 2000. Oh. And then uh, I had a family and then uh, did some odd jobs. And I hit, uh, I hit uh, the peninsula, mm -hmm. and, and since we were in the uh, hub of uh, casting offices, agencies in Makati, I landed one uh, commercial, which was KFC. Yeah, I you know I saw that commercial in sub video sa YouTube na. Atong sinasabi mong Pepsi commercial, pero you mentioned that it was not shot in the Philippines. It was um shot in India, is it? Yes. Oh, um, the first commercial was shot in India. There were two commercials, there were two parts. Ah. One was in India, shot in India. Mm -hmm. The one that um, um, I get a Pepsi for uh, a girl in, the, in an apartment or condo unit. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, the second one was um, we were we were inside a car, me and a date of mine, a girl. And then I was trying to get uh, a Pepsi for her, but mm -hmm. there was a dog who oh, came I out of nowhere that. on the window, so we closed all our windows. Mm -hmm. And I was able to get away from the dog, get a Pepsi, come back to the car, and 
um, when he got in the car, he gave the tips to the girl. The keys were was with the dog mm. outside, so that was the end of the commercial. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, I'm, um, the 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 it does not. I, I um uh, it wasn't uploaded in YouTube. Oh, so, yeah. Hanggang kwento na lang kayo for a second. In all fairness, ha, ako nagsasabing, yung ginawa mo and then Michael J. Fox, ang ganda ng ginawa mo. Kasi, <laughs> hindi kasi sobrang totoy, very innocent, very fresh, very nakakakilig. Tapos the way you um jumped uh, on top of the roofs ng mga vehicles, di ba? Ang ganda ng stand. Parang, parang, yung totoy na parang willing to do everything then magpa-impress lang alam mo yung ganon may, may ano siya um, nakakakilig yung ano yung yung the way you do it hindi siya yung parang nagra-rush okay nagra-rush lang pero hindi nakakakilig eto nakakakilig na parang uy ikukuha niyo ako ng Pepsi parang ganon that was the feeling ng parang journey ah ah na ginagawa mo yeah. And then yung Those smile, the days, you know? diba? yung right. smile mo. And then sabi ko, swak na swak ka talaga for that commercial. And ang fresh talaga. Kaya alam mo, nung high school, college, bukang bibig ng mga nasa campus, jaw mapa, oh, kawag di jaw mapa. Ikaw talaga. <laughs> When I was starting, high school, nag-umpisa kasi ako na um, uh, as a model for print. Uh, mm-hmm. for garments there were mm-hmm. uh, there were clothes nine like Akajo Boston Stories mm-hmm. to name a few uh, mm-hmm. Coalition Zone and mm-hmm. they would get me and then uh, for a pictorial mm-hmm. I I know uh, I sumasama kasi ako sa mama ko eh my mom was a, a writer uh, for publications such as uh, Manila Times mm-hmm. Daily Globe kasi nasama niya ako. Nung sinama niya ako, uh, I met I met a PR person uh, 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 who was a friend of my mom. Mm-hmm. Her name was Vera Isberto. Mm-hmm. Who uh, got me these gigs. And they, they, they paid for about 500 bucks then probably and uh, a couple of t-shirts of uh, what I model. Mm-hmm. Then came the pictorial with bench. I went to the pictorial and lo and behold, at that bench pictorial, Douglas Quijano, may rest in peace, was there. And I we I shot for bench and I wore bench clothes. Mm-hmm. We did a pictorial with some also uh, two other guys. Uh, yeah, everyone was Toto eh. Mm-hmm. was also uh, uh, was uh, groping also pero hindi siya sumikat like three mm-hmm. um, but nakita na ako ni Douglas Quijano then and Tita Vera was with me Tita Vera who I call became my manager because Ay. right there and then tinanong sa akin ni Douglas Quijano would you like to get into showbiz ano gusto ko mag showbiz sabi mm-hmm. ko ha oh And just with that one answer, he said, okay, next week, you'll get into na palibasa lalaki. Wow. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, yun lang simula nun. But, he said, I will not manage you. Mm-hmm. You will be under Vera Isberto. Mm-hmm. Vera Isberto was uh, a friend of uh, Douglas. Is she so, still around? No, she also passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was in peace. And, um, yun, uh, sinabi niya, sinabi ni Douglas, uh, Pito Dogs, uh, I'll be under, you'll be under my wing. Uh, he'll, ano, may bibigay na lang siya ng mga projects. Uh-huh. So everybody thought I was under Douglas uh-huh. Keanu, but I'm really with Pito Vera. Uh-huh. Then I was with Douglas Keanu, but uh, yeah, that was the start of it. The next week, I was in Palibasa and wow, I was like a provinciano in, oh, in, in, in a star studded uh, no, um, cast. And mm-hmm. I was like drop Joe. And I remember at my first taping for Palibasa Lalaki, mm-hmm. me naman, coming from high school, did a lot of stage plays. Um, mm-hmm. And when I got into Palibasa Lalaki, my first take was 
I said, come on, you know, I, I can bag this. I can do this. I have no problems with, uh, with mm-hmm. acting and stuff like that. But no, 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 grind na for the first sequence. Sabi na, sabi na, assist, uh, na, AD ko si Boyo. Mm-hmm. Direct Boyo. Sabi niya. Ang OA mo, umate. Oh my God. <laughs> sobrang, sobrang OA. Baba mo ng konti. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I thought I was doing right, okay? Mm-hmm. Pero, it dawned upon me, when you're doing stage, your actions are loud. See? Mm-hmm. And you have to project up to the farthest person in the mm-hmm. stage, uh, mm-hmm. in, the, in the audience, right? Mm-hmm. For us in TV, it has to be magnified. Magnified that the camera can see the slightest movement of your eyes, the sole of your eyes, etc. Mm-hmm. So, the next take, we talk again, binaba ako naman. Mm-hmm. Sa pagbababa, sa pagbababa ng, ng, ng acting ko, pati yung volume ng boses ko, <laughs> bumina. <laughs> so, the whole episode, if you're gonna watch that episode again, kung kailan ako pumasok, wala kang maririnig sa dialogue ko. Parang hindi mo madedenay na somehow nakatulong ng malaki parang syempre sa pag-build ng name mo in the uh, entertainment you know industry sa sa showbiz na nakasama ka sa Guapings. Of course. Mm-hmm. And up to now, nakatatak pa rin yeah. sa ano. Oo, nakatatak. Um, but uh, at an early stage, parang nag 2 years lang yata ako sa Palibas na lang. Okay. Tapos I told my manager, let's try to make a name of my own. Mm-hmm. Talas na tayo sa Palibas na lang. Uh, move on. After two years, dami rin projects na tumakas. Mga movies, TV mm-hmm. shows, yes things. Uh, mm-hmm. Move on ng ABS. They gave me a lot of, uh, a lot of support. They, they made me host to ASAP. We were the first hosts in ASAP. There was a Paraguo uh, group. Pila G, Paul, Julina, Rosel Nava. And then it was Mark Pinivera then. Leonardo Torres. Pops yeah. Rivera, Ariel Rivera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tikat that was uh, the beginnings of ano, ASAP. I mm-hmm. uh, was also part of, we were part also of uh, San Liguna po sila. Yeah. yeah. And then they, uh, they went, they, they splittered into ASAP. You made your name talaga. You made your own name. Kasi pag sinabi nilang Joe Mapa, easy recall then at the same time, yun nga, nakatatak na sa tao. And I, I think it's a good job. Uh, a job well done. At the peak of my career, I decided to take a break and concentrate all my efforts. And I was already going to do my thesis at the time. Mm-hmm. But when I left, or when I took a, a break from showbiz, um, it was hard. I mean, um, I was working 24-7. I know, you know, your adrenaline was pumping every day, you know, for work. And then suddenly, bang! Because you have the time to yourself, you know, um, the, your your work day wasn't that hectic anymore. Mm-hmm. I was able to graduate 2002. But mm-hmm. after that, uh, I, I met my wife, but then I got married in 2002. And um, I'm happy to say that uh, this year would be already uh, 20 years. I veered away from doing an office job. I don't think I see myself in a four-wall office. And um, I want to be my own boss. Right now, yeah, I'm an actor slash painter. It was a hard decision, but I think kung nabigyan ka niya ng peace of mind, then you you did a, you know, you made a good decision. So, you really took Almost two decades before, I was able to harness and hone my craft. And right now, I'm, I'm full blast with it. You know? uh-huh. That painting of yours, or yung talit mo sa pagpaint, saved you during the time of, actually, it's a global crisis when everyone's in the middle of this pandemic, di ba? Pero, alam mo ba, Jao, na ang kagandahan, na sobrang blessing sa'yo, you don't have to do something na hindi mo forte. You, you didn't have to go through something only to survive. Kung baga, ang resources nasa sa'yo because the talent is there already. Diba? 
yung ibang tao na nasanay sa ibang mundo na ginagawa and then biglang naiba, di ba? Lahat tayo, na-stop yung mundo for a while. Kailangan may gawin muna silang iba na anlayo sa ginagawa nila. But you, you were sticking to your uh, talent, which is painting. And during the pandemic, uh, being an artist, an actor, it's hard to get gigs at the time because of uh, the social distancing rule. This gave me an idea and a lot of time to start painting. Not only that it uh, it helped me, you know, it, but therapeutically, nakakatulong din sa painting. So, actually, nakakagawa ako ng three, three in a day, with just watercolor and paper and works. Mm-hmm. So, ang dami kong naipon. And then I started thinking, hey, why don't I uh, post it on Instagram, FB? So, mm-hmm. yeah, and I started posting them and then, And, um, and then I started selling them. I said, oh, I'll sell them at this price. And um, Luckily, I was able to get clients as far as Tennessee, LA, Las Vegas, New York, mm-hmm. um, Cebu. At the first year of the pandemic, uh, ano na to, eh? Christmas time, mm-hmm. there, was a, there was a client Uh, um, was selling jewelry and uh, bags online. Uh, designer, mm-hmm. designer bags and jewelry online. And my wife was uh, interested, so she said, mm-hmm. uh, "Why don't we visit this person? She's just in BGC in Makati." Mm-hmm. So I said, "Yeah, sure, let's go." So when we went there, um, she was also a Bicolana. My mm-hmm. wife is from Bicol. So, nag-click sila. Tapos nakilala pa ako. Oh, hindi ko si Zoma ba? At least, ay, ay. Eh, mabayit. So, we click. And then I said, ah, ma'am, pwede ko bang i-trade yung paintings ko with your jewelry and bags? Sabi niya, sige. So, we came back the next time, the other week. Um, I brought my paintings. Mm-hmm. Got a couple. And we traded with bags. And that's the first time I was able to give Jewelry and bags to my wife. After that, the second second year of the pandemic, ayun na, uh, Tita Aster uh, calls me mga, mga August or October. Mm-hmm. And she goes, do you want ano, to be managed by Viva? Mm-hmm. And I'll manage you and uh, co-manage by Viva. So we go, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Um, and then they gave me paraluman. You should watch Paraluma. It's a Viva Max. Uh, get the app. You can get the app in, in Play Store and then uh, search Paraluma. And I was okay. able to uh, work with uh, Mr. Ren Estaño and we did that movie uh, directed by Ian Laranas. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's streaming right now on Viva Max. And, uh, pretty much blessed. Technically, in, uh, actually, I never left. Mm-hmm. Actually, from the time that I I I got into the peninsula uh, mm-hmm. job. I was trying to get back. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I I, I got uh, any exposure that I could get. Okay. Um, got into different management mm-hmm. and did plays as well. Mm-hmm. I did a couple of plays for a couple of years as well. Um, with Vinnie Teatro and Stage Bros and I just got anything on my way whether it be indie films castings movies TV mm-hmm. guestings mm-hmm. what have you um, till this day mm-hmm. and then bonus na lang siguro na um, Tita Astra came kasi yun nga, hindi, hindi talaga ako kuminto eh. So, officially, that already, you know, um, nailed it. You know, uh, me getting back into showbiz, uh, that movie, you know. So, uh, uh, I wouldn't say, uh, I, I, could, I could say I'm just officially back. Ano yung klase ng preparation mo? Siyempre, kung ngayon sinabi mo kasi na 
yung parang ginugroom ka na as medyo sexy, di ba? Yung magiging papel mo, medyo ganon. Nag-workout ka ba? Nag-diet ka ba? Nag-ano ka ba ng mga ano sa mukha? Para syempre, appealing ka, yung ganon. Ano ano ang sekreto ng Jao Mapa? Okay, uh, during, during, before the project ng Paraluma, I had to really work out. So, mm. I called my former coach in USD. I was, uh, I was part of the unit. I was part of the football squad. Oh, okay. Was the football squad of USD. Mm-hmm. And I called my coach. I said, Coach, what can you do to get out of here? He said, you jog 20 minutes a day. And that's what I did. I started jogging in the time before that Paranuma. And even during the, the, the shooting, I kept on jogging. Mm-hmm. But, and I haven't stopped. Yeah, I still play futsal, still play basketball, and um, it helped. Uh, my 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 workout helps. Uh, I can last the game already for endurance. Uh, this director of mine hooked me up, and he said, uh, "You uh, to produce this film that's gonna be. I don't know if it's being funded or there's a grant by mm-hmm. the Japanese government of Saga." Mm-hmm. And they've been giving out these grants to filmmakers around the world. And mm-hmm. So happens that a friend of mine, is, uh, one of the directors, uh, was uh, um, tapped in by uh, the Japanese saga group. And um, he asked me if uh, I could get a streaming distributor and an uh, executive producer. So I was able to give him a friend of mine. Second mm-hmm. producer and Viva Max mm-hmm. uh, accepted uh, being streaming uh, distributor for this film that we're gonna do oh, okay. in Japan. Oh, and we're gonna I'm gonna be acting in it, and I got my wife to get into it also as well. Wow, good news, so, huh? So this Japanese. Uh, Story. Uh, so this story, uh, according to my director, is just to promote tourism for mm-hmm. Saga. I also want you to know that uh, and share uh, during the pandemic, I have been also a prayer warrior. Mm-hmm. I've begun to pick up the rosary mm-hmm. and I've been praying every day and uh, going for Sunday Mass as well. Uh, right now, so blessed, so blessed. How do people reach you? How do they contact you? You just have to message me in uh, IG, actually. Just okay. look for me, Jao underscore Mapa. Okay. And you can also search me in F. You can also message me in FB, Facebook. Nabasa ko yung sayo because in the uh, hidden messages and... Um, and uh, gano, gano, that, that's how to reach me. Then, Joe, hey, natakot huh? ako. Natakot ako ng Joe. Sabi ko baka mamaya ibang Joe tong na-reach. Oh, wow, Kasi, you're ah, lucky. That's diba? a blessing there. Ang ginawa ko kahapon, ano uh, nag-confirm ka na sa akin, nagpati tayong um, mag-interview, mag-schedule today, nag-post ako sa Facebook ko, ang sinabi ko, uh, sino dito yung crush kita kay Joe? <laughs> Mag-comment kay dito and isa shout out. So, eto, ipapashoutout ko, basahin ko lang yung sinabi niya. Si Joanna Maria Ramos, YouTuber din to, si Inday Biscana ang tawag dito. You can just say Inday Biscana. Sabi niya, ako na mauuna, ma'am ganda. One of the matinee idol noong 90s at talagang crush ko siya and I admire his, admire his acting. I have watched a lot of his movies, especially Guapings and Pariko and a lot more to mention. Yahoo sana mapansin niya ako. Marinig ko lang name ko na banggitin niya. Kilig na ako. <laughs> so siya si Joanna Maria Ramos. Joanna Maria Ramos. Wow. Kila na lang. Natito na nakatulad mo na nag-appreciate sa mga ginawa mo at nakakakilala sa akin. So uh, I hope you're in good hands uh, this pandemic. Uh, doing well. Eto, oh, eto man, na Meratan. Ako rin po. Ayan. Although yun lang sinabi niya. Si Ate Adna ha? Uh, okay. Lems Liboon. Ang hirap ang pangalan. Wow Ate, Ina, kakamis din si Joe Mapa. Lalo na yung dimple. <laughs> Natawa ko ha? <laughs> dimple niya kabilaan sa pisngi. Patingin nga. Nasa na. Ewan ko. Parang wala na yata. Parang wala. 
Ang guapo mapanood ko din yan sa Guapings at Pare ko. Yan, si Lems Libo o naman siya. Hi, Lems. Uh, kamusta ka na? Uh, isa, pangalawa ka na. Nakaka-appreciate sa mga uh, achievements natin. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Si Marge Sent- Zentner. Crush ko yan, dear. Pinapanood ko siya sa Mega Mall. O yan ha, matindi ito. Pinap- pinanood ko siya sa Mega Mall noon, unang concert niya, nung nag-launch siya ng team song ng gimmick. Man, uh, tagal na noon. Pero matatanda uh, ako nung uh, uh, lumabas yung unang album, uh, yung first song ko in my album, Mother BMG. And uh, mm-hmm. wow, uh, Those are reminiscing the days. Uh, please keep in touch. Uh, message me at IG. Zao uh, underscore Mapa. You can see my work. So uh, I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing. And then see, si ito, teacher to from Laguna, Jenny Pura. Sabi niya, ayun daw, ay, uh, crush ka rin niya nung ano, nung 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, Jenny Pura. She's a teacher. Hi, Jenny. Gusto na. Um, sana nasa mabuting kalagaya. And then, uh, sa Laguna ba? Tama? Yeah, sa Laguna. Okay, uh, paborito ko rin na uh, um, tanawin ang Laguna muna <laughs> sa Antipolo. Oh, mm-hmm. meron kami may may lookout point uh, oh, yeah? somewhere in Antipolo, yeah. And oh. then you can see Laguna, the whole lake of Laguna is very beautiful. It was inspired by a lot of uh, people including Jose Rizal. Uh, I hope you're in, uh, sana nasa mabuti ka at uh, mm-hmm. Um, kausapin mo naman ako reach out uh, sa Instagram ayan eto naman si Rose Hansniel Hansniel Rose na lang Hansniel ma'am pa-entry ako ah. crush ko yung ano siya during his time sa, sa Guapings na-imagine ko pa nga na, <laughs> na, ano na-imagine ko pa nga na nakaka-date ko yan sabi niya isang shoutout lang po masayin na <laughs> oh, ay oh my gosh Alan hey din. Rose kamusta na Um, like I said with the others, uh, um, message mo na ako sa Instagram. Last, eto, uh, last to, eto si Leonora. Pakishoutout lang si Leonora. Sinabi, sinabi lang niya, me. Okay. Si Leonora. Hi, Leonora. Uh, Ay. You. Oh, yeah. Last ito, si Irene. Oh. Irene Miranda Bostalino. Irene Miranda na lang, sabi mo. Uh, sweetheart, just call hat and notebook ko. Picture niya, sabi niya. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, I remember that. I only have a few copies na lang, Irene. Then uh, if uh, you wanna uh, uh, see me or uh, chat with me, uh, Instagram. Uh, harapin mo na ako. Keep safe in God, yes. So, thank you so much, ha. So, um, any more messages sa fans mo? Okay, Ina, thank you very much for uh, guesting me here. Uh, more more power and uh, support you in uh, your uh, your uh, your vlog uh, sa lahat ng mga taga-subaybayin and uh, sweet, sa mga sweethearts dyan, uh, sweetheart na ako na kayo. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, your time with uh, us and uh, I hope everything is uh, well with you guys. Keep safe and down there. Ayun. So, thank you so much talaga. So, uh, yun nga, John, papaalam na tayo pero hopefully magkita tayo in person. Talagang Uh, fan ako ng mga ano mga artworks ng talaga mga painters at, at ang ganda ng, ng gawa mo talaga. Thank you so much again mga sweethearts for being with us in this very wonderful topic today. Bringing someone special close to our heart because he's our very own, you know, one of the members of uh, Guapings. Ayan. Thank you so much again, Zhao. And I... I don't wish you good luck, but I wish you more blessings. Kasi ang luck parang swertehan lang, di ba? But I wish you more blessings. You can be blessed and be more blessed, di ba? So, thank you so much. And um, I love your humility and, you know, being so open to being uh, featured here and uh, be an inspiration to others and share, um, of course, uh, some things about you. So, thank you. Mga sweethearts, ang lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo. Always be grateful for all the blessings, big and small. Always choose to be kind and to be right. Uh, stay positive. Be prayerful. Thank you so much. I love you and God bless. Bye.